Hey, hey, what's up guys? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. So while we're waiting for this Deadpool update to drop, instead of speculating on who's going to be the next character or breaking down some of this footage that I'm showing in the background, I thought I'd do another episode of the Building the Perfect Team series. This is episode number three. Now in this video, I had a lot of requests for some non-meta teams. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, still trying to knock out all of these requests. Keep sending them. You, if you're watching this video and have another request for a team, put it in the comments down below. I do read them all. Uh, I don't respond to every single one, but I do read them all, and I want to get to every single one. So, first thing we got to do when building a non-meta team is decide who is in the meta. So, what I just did is went to this list that I did with Casino and some other people on his channel and looked at who got ranked in a god tier for any game mode and these are the characters that i will not be including because they are pretty good in one game mode or multiple game modes black panther is not on the list black widow captain america doctor strange drax gamora hawkeye iron man kingpin night nurse quake and yondu so none of these characters can be on this list and we have this remaining characters that i'm scrolling with now some of these characters like nick fury aren't playable and so it's not this complete list you know baron mordo is not playable yet either so uh this is who is left and if you looked at my first video what i like to do first is decide on the dispeller now i saw this post on reddit yesterday characters that clear positive effect and I think this is just a real simple way to find the characters that have a dispel because I think removing that taunt from a tank is one of the most important things that a team needs to do. And these are the characters that can do that. Some better than others. Yondu, Black Widow, they're both out. They're both meta characters. Ronin, uh, not making a team with Ronin right now. Maybe in the future, but he's pretty bad. Doctor Strange is out. Quake is out. Hand Archer is intriguing. But I think I want to do a whole separate video on just the hand, so I'm not going to make a hand team in this video. So Hand Archer and Electro are both out. Hawkeye is a meta character, he's out. Hydra Grenadier, interesting. Interesting for maybe a Hydra team. I'm probably going to save him for later. And that pretty much leaves Jessica Jones, Shield Operative, and Vision, because Captain America right here is a meta character. Uh, Vision, I think, works best in the Avenger team. And... Most of the good Avengers are out, so I think I'm not going to use Visions. Shield Operative probably works best in the Shield team. So that leaves Jessica Jones. And she also has that uh, hidden skill that Hand Archer has to have that extra focus when trying to remove the debuff. So she's definitely in this team. She is going to be my primary debuffer. So let's take a look at her kit right here. She has an attack. It's okay. You got a chance to do a... Uh, some bonus damage or no it's a bonus attack that's not the main thing the main thing is this 50 percent chance to gain an ability energy on each attack so what this does is uh it sounds like it just gives it to her but it also gives it one possibly to the rest of her team it's one ability energy it could go to anybody from what i've seen and i think this is a really good skill not for the attack but because this uh ability to energy is only 50 percent chance though so I wouldn't base it just on this. She also has an ability energy on this move here, shake it off. She clears negative effects from self. She clears three negative effects from allies and gives one ability energy to four random allies. This is a big, big skill because everybody's reducing their cooldowns. Uh, and then this is her main dispel. She is attacking the primary target and clearing two positive effects. This is the main reason she's on the team for this move rejection but this is another solid solid move uh when i use this i normally wait till there's some negative effects but it's not a bad idea to use this right off the bat to get this ability energy as well um and then she's gonna get extra resistance to city allies i'm not really gonna make this team based on their tags just because uh, you could go a defenders team or a city team, but I went a totally different way with this team. Now, 
We're gonna need a tank for this team. We need someone to protect. So unlike that all blaster team, we do can get some protection. So let's look at the protectors that are here. These are all of the protectors in the game. Aim security. Captain America, he's gonna be out. Crossbones, great damage dealer, but I wouldn't use him as my primary tank for the game. Drax is out. Hand Sentry is the hand one. I'm gonna do that in a later video, just a pure hand team. So I'm not gonna use him in this video. Hulk, again, interesting, but you know, if you're going with Vision and doing the rest of the Avengers, I think they could work, but I, I don't know if he's gonna work too much outside of the Avenger team. I use him in Blitz and you know, a lot of times he loses. Uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna use Hulk though. That's the point. Hydra Armored Guard, decent tank. Kingpin, uh, he's out. Kree Royal Guard, decent. Luke Cage is a very interesting choice because they're both defenders. But I went a different way with this team and went down and used Thanos. Thanos as the primary tank. Now, he's not the best tank in the game. If you watched my Protector rating video, I was really high on him. I got a little low on him and I'm kind of uh, in the middle right now with Thanos. I think he's good. He's not as good as some of these uh, other tanks like Captain America and Drax, though. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where I would place him. Anywhere between 3 and 6 on that list if I redid that today. So let's look at his kit. He's going to attack the primary target and gets an 80% chance to counter. Decent, decent basic attack on his primary um, taunt. He's going to get an attack. Big damage, 300% damage. He's going to apply offense down to that target, and he's going to gain a taunt. So this is probably best used on a high damage target. So someone like maybe a Winter Soldier, a Wolverine, or a Gamora, someone that you could do offense down on. Uh, and then he's got this energy bomb. It takes a little while to do, so Jessica Jones is really going to uh, help with getting the energy for this. It's an all-target attack, and you get 100% drain this attack cannot miss this is a good attack in theory i thought it was a little better than it actually is but it's still a good attack big aoe and you're getting 100 percent drain so he's healing up a little bit and then he gets extra resistance when taunting and when he kills somebody now it says on kill i think that's any kill but he's going to generate two ability energy for self and there's no black order allies in this team or in this game so this last part does not apply so that is his kit he has a good taunt uh doesn't last a long time the main thing that he's missing is armor so two ways we could go from this team at this point we could go and work on someone with some buffs like a mercenary lieutenant add them to this team or it could go pure damage and that's the direction I went to go. So next big damage guy is Crossbones. And he's another person that could really help with Jess, help from Jessica Jones to get this detonate off a little sooner. And he serves as kind of a backup tank for, uh, for Thanos. So when Wrath, he's going to gain taunt plus two counter. He's going to heal himself for 15% max health. So this is a decent move. I like to use this after death proof or if I know death proof is coming in one turn. It's not bad to use here, but you do have the risk of him dying. So I usually don't use this till afterwards. He has a decent basic attack. Um, nothing special, but not nothing too bad. Does some damage. 75% chance of a bonus attack for 125% damage and applying offense down. Similar to Thanos' taunt in that it applies that offense down. So if you use Thanos and him correctly, you could offense down two turns, uh, two, two characters. 75% uh, chance with this piston punch though and he's getting some extra max health and Hydra allies gain some extra armor so that's that's uh, the big AOE attack so instead of buffing the team and supporting the team still going more damage one of the best damage dealers that is left that's not a meta character is Winter Soldier and this mechanical arm big big attack I love this attack huge you get it right off the bat it does have a five turn cooldown so you might not be able to do it two times in a turn unless you're getting some extra energy from jessica jones applies heal block so this is a great move on attack if this is not going to kill the target it's going to keep them at very very low health so i love this move 
He also has this move right off of cooldown. Attack the primary target for 200% damage. Apply bleed. Then you have a 70% chance to attack up to two times for 100% damage and apply bleed. So it's a good attack. You get a chance for a bonus attack two times. Just does some really good single target damage. And then he has another single target damage attack. Big, 290% damage and you're getting 20% piercing. So this kit is all about big single target damage. What's really missing in this team is healing. I don't think it needs it. So I went with even more damage, went with Wolverine. Another big single target damage dealer. And this team is just about damage. You got a big uh, dispel with Jessica Jones. You got some protection with Thanos. You got backup protection with Crossbones. And you got single target damage with Winter Soldier. Single target damage with Wolverine. Let's look at his kit. Decent. Uh, he has a decent basic attack on his first move. 230% damage. It's all piercing. So really great when you get these high armor targets like a Luke Cage or a Drax or someone slice and dice a little less damage but you do have the chance to crit three or four extra targets with 90 percent piercing and then this is his big attack this is another one that starts off of cooldown you need to wait at least three turns for this move but it's a big attack 600 percent 610 percent piercing damage you're gonna get a bleed on crit like all all the rest of his moves if health is below 50%, you're going to gain offense up for two turns. And this attack, again, is unavoidable. So I love this move. The rest of his kit is okay. He's got some regeneration on his turns. Not huge. You know, it could, it could save your life in a random uh, situation. But this is not a huge heal. It's like a trickling heal. And then he has a low chance to revive. I've seen him do this a couple times. And you're starting with 20% of the, his max health, so probably going to die if, you, if someone hits him. But, you know, it's nice that he has that small chance to come back to life. So that is the team. Right now, this is my C team for Blitz, and they've actually been working pretty well together. Uh, let's go and take a look at their stats, though, see what's happened. So health, Thanos obviously has the most health. Really good for a tank. As far as armor, though, very, very low. But uh, for a tank, it's pretty low. 2,500. You got Winter Soldier with more armor. Crossbones has more armor. Very low on Wolverine and Jessica Jones. Their health is all about the same, though. Winter Soldier is a little more squishy. Their damage is all right around the same as well. Winter Soldier probably stands out a little more as far as damage. 5,600. The rest are about five anywhere between 5,000 and 5,145. And again, this is based on their max stats on msf.gg. This, so this is a level seven, I mean, seven stars, level 60 and gear 11. So this is what their stats are gonna look like at that point. And then speed, you're looking at Jessica Jones going first, then Crossbones, then Wolverine, then Thanos, then Wol Winter Soldier. This is not a fast team, but it is, kind of on the border of between a fast and a slow team so pretty average as far as all of their speed all between a 90 and 100 uh they're all going pretty similar so let's go and take a look at the characters we're gonna start with jessica jones but she's going first now depending on what team you're facing really depends on what move you're gonna do so rejection obviously if you're facing drax or pre-taunt team if they add any pre-taunters in the future, I think Drax is the only one that could do it now. Rejection, you're going to want to clear that so you can get to the other characters because you have a bunch of damage dealers in Wolverine and Winter Soldier that could really start focusing on that primary target, your big threats. All right, so this is a good move to do at the start. Now, not going to do too much in the way of clearing negative effects. So one option could be to save this. If you know you're going after a team that... De uh, somebody on the other team that's debuffing a lot of teams you probably want to save this if you're looking at them and there's not really throwing a lot of debuffs i would recommend using this right off the start to give this ability energy to the rest of your allies and obviously if you want to save these skills and use them for later you could attack somebody with this basic attack and that's pretty much how i would use jessica jones 
Next on the list, as far as speed, is Crossbones. Now, this is kind of a delayed turn. You're not going to use this Wrath. You're not going to use this on turn one. I think it's kind of a waste. You could potentially waste this whole detonate skill. So I'm just going to prime. I'm just going to do this basic, the piston punch on who's ever available. If I could start to whittle down at a big threat, I'm going to do that. But if I have, to, if there's a taunt that comes up before his turn, then uh, I am just going to attack that one. Now, what I'm doing, I'm just for crossbones. What I use is pretty simple. I just use basic, basic, basic until I can use detonate. When I can use detonate, either on turn two or another turn, I'm getting this off as soon as possible. After that is when I get wrath for some a little bit of health and to try to protect some of the rest of the team because Wolverine, Winter Soldier, Jessica Jones, they could all die pretty quickly. After that, let's go back to this list right here. After Crossbones, we got Wolverine, then Thanos, then Winter Soldier. So let's go to Wolverine. You got a his basic attack, which does a little more damage to the primary target, and then you have his uh, special that does less damage to the primary target, but has but does chain three to four additional targets. So if you're really trying to take out a threat, this is the move to use. If you just want to start to chip away at the other one, at the rest of the team, this is probably the move to use. Now, most likely I would recommend this one to start off with on Wolverine. Uh, after that, we have Thanos. This is when the taunt is coming up. Where is he? There he is. This is when you could do this taunt. You're going to deal some damage to the primary target. Hopefully, you could deal it the damage to a, a big threat to apply that offense down, and he's gonna gain taunt. This is what's gonna start to protect your team a little bit more at this point. After Thanos, then you got Winter Soldier. So again, you have a few options with him on turn one. If you could get to a big threat, Mechanical Arm is probably the way to go, dealing big damage and applying heal blocks so they can't start to heal. Rel Relentless Assassin, Deals a little less damage than his basic, but you have a 70% chance to attack up to two times. And you're dealing 100% damage and applying bleed. Then you have this basic, where you're doing a little more damage and you also have some piercing. So, again, it depends on what is open in the battle uh, is going to determine which skill you use. So... Let's go take them into battle. This is a blitz battle I did a little earlier. Make some mistakes here, and I'll point out when I make a mistake so you can check it out. But let's let's look at this team in battle. Just looking for a weak team at this point. I want to fight somebody that I can beat. Right now their power level is 55,000, going up against a team that's, I think, 59,000. And let's go and take out their team. So... Quake is a threat, Yondu's a threat, Gamora's a threat, not so much from Drax and Night Nurse. I choose to remove the taunt from Drax so I can start to get to either Quake or Gamora. I think Quake is a bigger threat, so I start to go after her. The basic from Crossbones, and there was a mistake. I should have used Wolverine's basic at that point instead of his second skill. Uh, Winter Soldier's move probably could have killed Quake at that point, but Thanos ends up doing the job with his taunt. Could have used it on Gamora, though, or Yondu. But we're still in this. Now, here's another mistake. Instead of doing Jessica Jones special, I use her basic on Drax. Drax counters and kills her. But this team is strong enough to withstand those two mistakes using this team. Here comes a big detonate. That is really the big move of this team. And Wolverine's skill is off of cooldown as well. Takes out Gamora. Now, one threat remaining. Thanos has his big AoE attack, almost takes out Yondu. Winter Soldier finishes up the job, and not a lot of threats at this point. Night Nurse is gone, and there's just Drax. Can just auto it from here on out, pretty much, because Drax is not a huge damage dealer, and they are looking decent as far as health. Uh, Thanos is in the red, but at this point, it doesn't matter. So there's the victory, and we get the win crossing into the next milestone. And that is pretty much the team. We got Jessica Jones, 
I think she is an uh, important part of this team, especially in the beginning, to give everybody energy. Next, we got Thanos to protect everyone and to deal some damage. I think he's a pretty good balanced character as far as protection and damage. A lot of these big protectors with big health pools don't do a lot of damage. Thanos actually has decent damage that he could deal. Crossbones, detonate. That's pretty much uh, what you're bringing him in here for. And hopefully Jessica Jones, just like in the video, can give him some energy and let him get that move off a little sooner. I think mine's is only at five stars, so it takes a little longer for my crossbones to get his detonate off. Winter Soldier, big, big, huge single target attack. Should have actually taken out Quick with that move if I didn't screw up with Wolverine and Wolverine. Again, unlike the video, I actually recommend using this move a little bit more than this one. Um, the exception is if there are a bunch of people that are very low in health and you're going to take them out. That is one way you can go, but uh, yeah, don't, don't make the mistake that I did in that trial video. And use the basic and this move unless you're going to kill a bunch of people with, their, with the chain. And that is the team. Let me know what you guys think. Is there other characters that you would want to see on this list. Who could replace who? And let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. I'll probably be making another video sometime tonight after this update drops with more stuff on Deadpool and whoever the mystery character will be. Maybe it's Star-Lord, maybe it's Loki, maybe it's someone like Cable or Colossus that we haven't had any word on from uh, Foxnet yet. So we will see, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you go to the Twitter. As soon as they put out that Twitter on the official account, I retweeted that thing. So you get it, you're getting that uh, information right away on the Facebook and Twitter accounts. The link is in the description down below. I will see you guys next time. Valley Flying, out!